Golden Doodle Generations. If you've ever gone online to research buying a Golden Doodle, you probably have come across weird letters in front of the breed, like F1 or F2B, and thought to yourself, what is even the difference between an F1 Golden Doodle and an F2B Golden Doodle? Basically, these refer to the generation of Doodle. And since the breed is a hybrid between a Poodle and Golden Retriever, the percentage of Retriever or Poodle can differ. Trying to figure out what these codes mean, as well as how the percentage of Poodle and Golden, is an important but extremely tedious task that you'll have to go through in order to be well informed of your Golden Doodle purchase. With all that in mind, we thought we would go ahead and make a video to try and break this down for those of us that don't want to get a degree in genetics just to purchase our favorite dog breed. But we've kept you waiting long enough. Let's get started, shall we? Explaining the numbers. In order to understand the different generations of a Golden Doodle, you sort of have to understand the system first. So let's take F1B just as a random example and break down what the letters and numbers represent. The F in F1B stands for filial hybrid. Now what does that mean? Filial just means that you have a hybrid dog with two purebred parents. Next is the one which stands for what generation the dog is. In this case, it's a first-generation doodle. Now brace yourself because the B is the least straightforward. B stands for back cross, a fancy word that means the dog has been inbred back to a purebred generation. This happens with a lot of different breeds of dogs, but in the case of the golden doodle, usually means inbreeding back to a 100% standard poodle for hypoallergenic and shedding purposes. Whew, well, that's done. We'll be going in depth with all generations of Golden Doodle, but here's a quick look at them just to catch your bearings a bit. As you can see, there are quite a few bees in there, as breeders very much want that hypoallergenic and non-shedding poodle gene generally. Now that you have a grasp on the generation concepts, let's take a look at each of them with a little more depth. F1. Starting off is the simplest generation to understand, the F1. This type of Golden Doodle is split 50-50 between a purebred standard poodle as well as a purebred Golden Retriever. The F1 Doodle is sort of the classic, and often the one that people think about when the word Golden Doodle is mentioned. This breed varies, however, a lot genetically, which can drastically change how they look. They may or may not have coats that shed, and may even have smooth hair instead of the classic Doodle curls. What the F1 Doodles do have on their side is amazing health benefits. They lack any significant genetic issues because of being hybrid vigor, which is another weird term that essentially boils down to meaning that the first cross between purebred dogs will be healthier than their parents, because inbreeding almost always leads to genetic defects. This is great news for dog owners, but you still must be careful, as the F1 can still inherit the same genetic problems from their standard poodle or golden retriever parents. This ends up meaning that although there are some unpredictable aspects to the F1, it also has the best health of any generation. F1B. The F1B Golden Doodle is 75% Poodle, 25% Golden Retriever, and is a cross between an F1 Golden Doodle and a 100% Standard Poodle from the original purebred line, which is where the B comes in. Technically, the F1B can also be crossed with an F1 and 100% Golden, but this is much less common among breeders. This generation is referred to as the hypoallergenic golden retriever, as many, because it retains a larger amount of poodle traits and has a wavy or even curly coat. The F1B needs more grooming to prevent matting because of its curly locks, but is a perfect choice for people with moderate allergies. It also keeps some of the hybrid vigor of the F1, although each generation loses a bit of those qualities, and this is a second generation hybrid. F1BB. The F1BB generation is a cross between an F1B Golden Doodle and an original purebred Poodle or Golden, but as we said earlier, it's almost always the former, making the percentage 87.5% Poodle and only 12.5% Golden. You can probably figure out by now that the second B indicates a second back cross, and because of how much Poodle there is in this generation, this is the most hypoallergenic and non-shedding dog of the first generation. This comes with a price, literally, however, as the F1BB will need to be frequently groomed in order to prevent matting because of its thick, curly hair. The F1BB Doodle is technically a third-generation dog, meaning it loses even more of its hybrid vigor, 
and so it's important to remember that when considering this generation. F2. The F2 Golden Doodle is not a very common generation of Doodle to see, mostly due to how unpredictable it is to breed. The F2 is achieved by breeding two F1, or 50-50 Doodles, together, creating a coin flip scenario when trying to figure out what traits the dog will have. The F2 Doodle also loses some of its hybrid vigor in comparison to any of the F1 generation. F2B the F2B Golden Doodle is generally a cross between an F1 and F1B Doodle, making it 62.5% Poodle and 37.5% Golden. However, some breeders will opt to cross two F1B Doodles to create a Doodle that is an even higher percentage of Poodle at 75% and 25% Golden, respectively. The F2B Golden Doodle generally has a wavy or curly coat, but as you're probably starting to see, nothing is guaranteed when dealing with hybrid animals, since genetics still plays a huge factor. This doodle is generally hypoallergenic and non-shedding, and loses hybrid vigor when compared to the F1 generation. F2BB The F2BB Golden Doodle is a cross between an F2B Doodle and an original purebred Poodle. It is 81 and a quarter percent Poodle, an 18 and 3 quarters percent Golden Retriever, making it the most hyperallergenic brand of the F2s. This brand is going to have to be brushed every day and regularly groomed in order to prevent matting. Often referred to as a multi-generational Golden Doodle, the F2BB is a fourth generation dog, meaning that its hybrid vigor is much weaker than the previous entries on this list. Still, it's a great option for people that don't want to bother sweeping dog hair off their floor every day. F3. The last entry for you today is the F3 Golden Doodle, which is typically two F1B Doodles bred together, but can also be two F2 Doodles bred together to get to the same result. These F3 Dudes contain a lot of Poodle genes, and so are again great for those of us with allergies. Since F3 Doodles can be used to describe any Doodle past the second generation, it's important to ask your breeder for more specifics in order to understand what exactly you may have when choosing your pet. Many people ask if doodles that are more inbred will suffer from more severe genetic issues. And honestly, it's a hard question to answer. You'll have to worry about issues of that sort and go to the vet regularly. But that's also the case for many purebred dogs, and so are the risks in that as well. Ultimately, if you are choosing your golden doodle based on factors outside of allergies, it's probably more important to focus on color, coat, and size than it is about the generations. But this is still a useful tool that you now have in order to pick a doodle puppy that's going to match what you've always dreamed of. We hope this video helped. If it did, consider liking and sharing as it greatly helps us grow our channel. We hope that you learn something when choosing your golden doodle and that you find yourself a lifelong companion that you can cherish. Bye.